Hi everyone, and welcome to Tyson's Discovery Center. We're gonna make a French onion filly today. I've got a couple different things. It's gonna be a twist on the familiar. So we're gonna take a classic French dip sandwich and we're gonna spin that and use our filly product today. I've got the filly beef that we're gonna cook on the flat top, some caramelized onions, a blend of Swiss and Gruyere, some beef gravy with a little bit of peppercorn in that, and some cowboy fried onions we're gonna finish that off with. Let's head over to the stove and make this up right now. Put a little bit of oil down and we're gonna go right on there. And what I'm gonna do is let those cook until I see it halfway through and I'm gonna start to see uh, holes poke out through the fat and a little bit of venting. So those are my key indicators of when I'm gonna start chopping and uh, flipping it over. So we're starting to see some venting coming through. I'm gonna to start to get ready to flip those over. Okay, I've just flipped over my Philly pucks. You're starting to see the steam come through and cooking them all away. Now that I've got them flipped over, what I'm gonna do is start to heat up my onions. So I'm gonna put a big heaping pong full right on the top of those guys. Those are gonna heat up at the same time as those steaks are cooking. We're gonna give those just another minute or two to kind of cook on that side. And then I'll start to chop them and break them apart. All right, guys, I'm ready to break these apart. No rhyme or reason. Breaking those apart. Give it another quick flip. And that is starting to smell wonderful. Okay, now that I've got those all cooked, what I'm gonna do is portion this into a sandwich. And then I'm gonna lay my cheese. Look at that. We're gonna give that a quick minute or two and just to heat up. And what I'm gonna do is grab my bread and get ready to take that off the flat top. Okay, folks, I'm going to put my bread on there. What that's gonna do is allow it to steam a little bit, soften that bread up. Finish off cooking that cheese and the beef. And then we're gonna get ready to go plate it. That's what it's gonna look like. Now let's take this over to our cutting board and finish it up. Hey everyone, we just got back from the oven and we have our French onion filly almost ready to go. I've got a peppercorn beef gravy that we made, so we're just gonna put a little bit right over the top of that. Instead of having a cup or a sidecar of au jus or gravy, we're just gonna put it right on top actually, okay? And the last thing we're gonna do is add those cowboy fried onions right over the top. That looks pretty. There you have it. This portion that I have right here is a little bit of a larger sandwich, so we're gonna cut that down into two or three portions. It's a great way to make a lot of sandwiches really quick, and it's absolutely delicious. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.